Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, so we're here to talk about what's new in Toby Dynavox mobile technology, and I'm really excited to get to talk to you today about TV phone. So um, when we think about who uses cell phones, up to 80 per 87 percent of people use cell phones, and so cell phones are universally um, accepted and used. Um, excuse me, cell phones are a universally used tool. And how do we feel um, when we misplace our phones? I know. Can we turn up the volume a little bit? You can't? Okay. Let's see. This might, does this work any better? Okay. I'll just stand here. How about that? Okay. I'm going to go back just a little bit here, and I'm going to say that we are here to talk about Toby Dynavox, so TD Phone, um, is what's new in mobile technology. So um, when we talk about, um, you know, 80, we said that almost 80% uh, percent of us utilize a phone on a daily basis, and how do we feel when we don't have our phone, right? And, we don't feel connected. And so we can consider um, a lot of communicators and individuals who um, don't have or who have lost that ability to utilize their phone. Um, what can I do and how can I feel connected? And so we um, are excited to introduce to you TD Phone, which empowers people to stay in contact with anyone um, from anywhere through text messaging and phone calls. Um, TD Phone works with Android as well as iPhone on the iSeries devices. So today we'll go ahead and we'll talk about a few kind of key features of TD Phone. I do highly encourage you to head over to the Toby Dynavox booth and check it out. We have a couple of phones that are paired and connected with the iSeries device and you can see how easy it is to use um, for some of our communicators and ourselves. I just kind of want to give you a little bit of a case study um, as we work through our demo today and talk about um, someone who utilizes TD Phone. Um, TD Phone is for individuals like Sam. Um, Sam has ALS and having a solution like TD Phone allows him this opportunity to connect with individuals um, that aren't close to him. It also has an opportunity for him to communicate and to keep um, up with those daily activities that he's used to doing, um, taking care of himself and taking care of his family as well. Um, TD Phone gives Sam independence, again, um, helping him stay better connected to those that he cares about and providing that opportunity for um, those who care about him to make sure that they can connect with him as well. So what can you do with TD Phone? TD Phone is a solution that empowers people like Sam who have those differing abilities um, and maybe have lost that ability to communicate or use um, a communication device in the way that they're used to using it. Um, if you need phone access with your eyes, TD Phone allows you this opportunity to initiate and respond to text messages, answer and make phone calls, and then search and sync your contacts. And there's also a really nice privacy feature of TD Phone that allows you an opportunity to um, kind of have, that dims the screen and allows you to have some privacy over what we're, um, what, over what we're text messaging. I don't know about you, but um, there's times that I don't want everybody to see what I'm um, sending over a text message and our communicators deserve that same opportunity. So before we go further into the features of TD Phone, um, I'm going to show you a little video that goes through TD Phone. We're going to give it a try, but with how loud it is in here and um, the microphone, if it doesn't work, I'm just going to bypass it and we'll move on. Okay, I don't think you can hear anything, can you? No, we're gonna move on. Okay, so let's talk about the key features of TD Phone. Um, I'm gonna go through the same screenshots. The video just gives you a better example. 
Um, again, I do encourage you to go to the booth, or I can show you how you can get to um, TD Phone on the Learning Hub and do your own independent learning on that as well. So, some key features of TD Phone is word prediction. Um, many of us are already really familiar with word prediction. We use it on our cell phones all the time. Uh, sometimes it predicts the words necessarily that we're not um, after. Um, and I might even be a little bit embarrassed of those words that sometimes <laughs> my, computer, my phone um, predicts that I might say. But um, all in all, it learns my communication style and it learns the words that I use frequently thus helping me communicate a lot faster and a lot more efficient. Uh, in my recent text message I sent, I sent about 26 letters. And if I think about a person who uses eye gaze, if they are going to text 26 letters and they're going to have to sit on each letter for one to two seconds, that's a long time. Whereas if I can just type my first two letters out and um, it's going to guess that, um, that word, it's going to be a lot quicker, obviously, for me to um, communicate a lot faster and a lot more efficiently. When we think about communicators like Sam, um, that's what he's used to and that's what he needs. We also can consider some fatigue that he might feel um, throughout his day, and so that's also going to be um, a big bonus for him as well. Let's see if I can... Okay, so you can see here how uh, I start typing on my screen and I can see now that I have um, that word that popped right up here uh, outlined in purple. I also have phrase predictions. So um, if you are familiar with TD Talk, this is familiar and it is similar to TD Talk. So with TD Phone, um, you can see that that phrase that predictable phrase does not pop up in a message, in, excuse me, in one of those uh, word boxes. Rather, it per you can see it in that uh, message window there. And that, again, provides that fast and efficient opportunity for that communicator to communicate quickly. Um, it is really fun to get to see some of those phrases that uh, communicators use often. And um, that they have an opportunity to kind of quickly um, gain, uh, to quickly select those buttons. So you can see here, it's kind of grayed out. Um, we, this person uh, obviously says, awesome, see you soon, um, occasionally, or maybe just most recently. So they just gaze on that, and then it completes that, um, that phrase. The main menu of TD Phone provides this opportunity to um, access your contacts to uh, take a peek at your text messages or to um, utilize that keypad, maybe for phone numbers that you didn't already have incorporated into your contacts, or maybe you met somebody new, maybe you're at a conference and um, you wanna put them into your um, TV phone app. So we're gonna go ahead and talk about searching and adding contacts. From this contact list that you see here, um, Sam can either select a contact from the left side, and then Sam can select whether he wants to text or call that uh, contact. If Sam didn't see his needed contact on the list on the left, he could then search the, um, use the search feature to open the search contacts page, and then he could find with whom he wanted to communicate. So uh, this is a video that you can see here. Um, it doesn't really, you don't need any sound. I can do a little bit of narrating. Um, but Sam's using TD Phone to send a text to his brother about an upcoming family's birthday. So they're trying to decide on what um, and who's going to get mom her birthday present. So you can see we have the contacts here on the side and the text message on that right hand side. So here, Sam is using word prediction. And then he will go to send um, the message.
responds right away, and then he's going to go ahead and respond back to his brother's message. And off it goes, and they have this communication exchange on hopefully they're going to choose a great um, message. You can see over here on this, or a great present. So you can also see over here that you do have notifications if you have um, an unread text message, and it's really easy for you to identify what that, um, who that person is, and I can click and find that message. Um, as I mentioned earlier, if a contact isn't in your contacts list, you can create a new contact and enter the number that you need to call um, at the bottom. And then you can choose whether you either want to make a phone call to that person or send a text message to them. And on Sam's mom's special day, he's able to call her and wish her a happy birthday himself. He goes from the contact list and chooses his mom, and then he chooses he wants to make a phone call to her. Again, you'll see that that interface does look very similar to um, a phone that you might be using right now. And then he can um, speak the message. So notice you, um, it's easy to see when you have, again, those unread messages that you have waiting for you. Um, but we often get asked, but what happens if I'm in an app and um, I don't have TD Phone up? What happens then? And um, one of the really nice things about TD Phone is, is that if you're in another app in your device and you get a phone call, you will get a notification that you're getting a phone call. And while you're in there, you do have to either accept or decline that phone call. And you also have access in that you will um, receive a notification as well for a text message. So um, you can either choose to show that message and respond to that message, or you can choose to ignore it and then go back to the apps button later on and find those unread messages and pay attention later. So uh, one more feature that's available in TD Phone is that off-screen menu. Uh, you might be familiar with this off-screen menu if you've used um, a software similar, to, or if you've used TD Control or TD Browse. The off-screen menu contains iGaze specific actions, um, and you can access it by gazing down below the camera, and this will um, access the off-screen menu. A communication partner can also support that um, access by swiping up um, off of that communication device too. Um, with that off-screen menu, you have the opportunity to use TD Switcher, which will switch back and forth between the various apps that you might be um, utilizing at that time. You also have the dashboard, which has access to your various settings. So maybe that voice that you're utilizing with your communicator. Um, uh, you can connect your phone within settings and sync your contacts um, from your physical phone there. And then you also have access to um, pause your eye gaze from that off-screen menu. Um, so this is useful when you want to break and you don't want to activate anything. This also does dim your screen a little bit too, so um, you don't have anyone maybe like peering over your shoulder to take a peek at some of those text messages. Okay, so getting started with TD Phone, it is for eye gaze access. It's for our text-based communicators um, who want that phone access. You can utilize it on an i series, so an i13 or an i16 device, with an iPhone or an Android device, and it is found within that Communicator 5 software. In order to get it, um, you go to the TD Phone product page on tobydynavox.com and download TD Phone to your um, i13 or your i16 devices. Um, and there isn't an extra cost for that. 
And then you can add TD Phone right to your communication software, um, and you can add TD Phone page set to your Communicator 5 page set as well. Um, so, and when you're in TD Phone, you can easily go back to that off screen menu and switcher and go back to those other uh, various apps that you might be using. So, um, you're going to go to the website, select products there, select TD Phone. And on this page, you'll find that free download for your i13 or your i16 devices. Um, and then you'll follow along with a getting started guide. Um, when you sync your phone and you try to pair it with your phone, you'll also have access to that start guide. So as a communication partner, it's really easy to follow um, that process and getting um, that device all paired and that communicator ready to roll. Um, if you want more information on um, TD Phone, head on over to the booth um, and check it out. It is really exciting. Um, it's been something that we've had obviously a lot of requests for, so we're really excited to get to um, feature it and show it here. So please feel free to head over to um, the Toby Dynavox booth or the Learning Lounge and learn more. Um, also, you can go to the Learning Hub. It, these are all free resources where you can find materials and videos and how to set it up or how you can just use um, the software as well. So thanks, everyone, and have a really great day.